Good morning guys! It is 9 o'clock and we've already had our first poop explosion which is why he's naked. I'm gonna go do some laundry, like I have to dry some stuff um, so he has something to wear. And I need to eat and I need to dry my hair but I did get up at 7.30 and shower and I fed Bronx and I pumped and stuff so he's all good. He's just staring up at those fish again. Okay, so it is 10.45. And Ronan is sleeping right now. I haven't really picked up the camera and vlogged between the last clip and this one because he was being crazy, like, crazy. He was crying, and when he wasn't crying because he was laying down, he didn't really want to play or, like, do anything. He didn't want me to rock him. If I stood him up, which I know you guys should know by now, he loves that. Like, he loves walking and just standing and just bouncing around. He wouldn't cry, but he'd be like, ah, like, he was just screaming. So that was really weird. I don't know if he's just tired or teething or what, but... He was well fed so he wouldn't let me do anything with him. I ended up just feeding him again and he went to sleep. He's been asleep for like 20 minutes and I was working on posting a fitness video which I feel really like awkward and uneasy about because it's just embarrassing. It's not my cup of tea but I feel like it works for me. Like it really is a good workout for me even though it looks stupid. Um, so I'm hoping it can help you guys and if not then I will just delete it and pretend it never happened. But yeah, this is one of those instances where usually I would be like, oh, I hope he wakes up like I miss him. Now I'm like, no, please, child, you need to take your two-hour nap. I really hope he sleeps at least minimum an hour, because I need to do some laundry um, downstairs. I need to, I don't know, I just need to do organizing. I'm feeling hungry again already and dehydrated. Zoe is just behind me, kind of freaking out. I don't know if it's because it's gloomy and she can sense the weather. It's probably going to rain, but today is already a little bit... It's a little bit crazy already. It's not even noon, so I don't know what's happening, but... I will catch up with you guys when I'm actually like done doing a few chores. So the laundry wasn't done drying, but I did get all those clothes I washed and folded for my friend Chelsea into here, like all the newborn clothes, and I actually added some zero to three since he's grown out of them. Now I just have to get her address because I don't, she moved, I don't remember where her address is, but this thing is taped like legit everywhere so it better hold through and it is stuffed like I had to, it's like when you sit on a suitcase to try and get it to close, it's like that. And Bronx is over here, chilling on our dirty welcome mat. Um, he has peed on my bathroom floor every day since wearing the collar, but it's only like, this is going to be his second full day wearing it. So it's supposed to take like seven days, I think, to work. We will see. I'm not giving up hope yet, but I do need to go give him a calming treat. And I have a clip to insert of Ronan from yesterday where I gave him a teething toy that had been like in the fridge because it had gel in it, so I'll just insert that here. It's cold. What do you think? Thank you. Does it feel nice? That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Good thing he's wearing a bib. <laughs> Seems like he likes it. Yeah, I didn't say. He is awake and kind of disoriented. He looks so surprised. Are you surprised? He literally just woke up. Zoe is anxious to go outside, but you're going to have to wait like 10 or 15 minutes, okay? I did fold some towels. I also folded these clothes, painted my toenails pink. I don't know if you can tell. And I'll show you what I did upstairs in a minute, but first I have to change his diaper, and then I'll take you guys upstairs because I need to show you what I did up there and also give him some clothes, right? You can't stay naked all day. <gasps> Puppies, calm down. Ronan is happily playing over there, and I'll show you his outfit in a minute. Um, but we did move that dresser up here for him to put his clothes in, and we got the rocking chair up here, which is literally a lifesaver. So you'll notice there's still like a lot of mess over there. I'm definitely about to clean up my room today now that I can actually organize it. So that brings me to the next thing. I did this while he was sleeping. These are his three-month pants. His three month like long sleeve shirts, his three month short sleeve things, his three month um, jackets and stuff like that, his three month sleepers, and then this row is all of, like his six month stuff right here. And then this is kind of six to nine months, some of it is 12, and then this is all 12 and up, like mostly 18 months. So I can finally put all of this stuff into that dresser which will really help like clean up this room I really need to declutter. So here he is in his beautiful onesie that you saw me get the other day from Rihanna. Thank you so much. It is so cute. Goes so well with his triple chin. Oh yeah. Oh. 
And it's just so cute. And it does come with this little cape. But obviously, I'll just have to wait to put it on him until maybe we go outside. Because we do have to let the dogs out, you know. Oh, you like that? It's your cape. Whoa. Yeah, you love your outfit? His cradle cap is trying to come back, you guys. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but he's got like the smallest amount of kind of dandruffy stuff going on. So, we're going to oil your head later because it's not going to come back. His hair is looking like so much better. <laughs> Do you love kisses? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a few more. You're grabbing my nose. <laughs> None of that. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Okay, 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 okay. You think you own whatever land you land on. <laughs> you are such a taker. You little, you little. The earth is just a dead thing you can claim. Under the sea, under the sea, darling, it's better down where it's wetter. <sighs> Let me taste these toes. <clears throat> and of course, do you see what just happened? We're outside without a burp cloth. Letting the crazy dogs out, and now he is a mess, so... It's wicked windy outside, like I literally just heard a tree fall over in the forest, so I don't know what that's all about, but Zoe is like scared. She's just standing still. <laughs> is that so fun? <laughs> He's pretty much just sitting up on his own. I have my hand like back here in case he tips over, but he's doing a pretty good job of balancing on my lap. And... Are you staring at the puppy? Wrigley and Ronan have moved forward in their relationship. Wrigley will now lick his face and his feet and he will let Ronan touch him, but Ronan just like he's not gonna be scared of animals. I'm gonna teach him to have to like be careful around um, other people's animals because not all dogs are as gentle as ours. And he definitely has no fear when it comes to pets right now. So we got home from that walk. Um, I took him on a walk because he's being really cranky from teething. And I did see a random cat and I like befriended it, so that was awesome. Um, and I did also before that, like right before that, I thought I saw a black dog out of the corner of my eye. There was no dog there. It was really giving me some like serious black feels after that and stuff, but 
we're home now. His only interest is really on eating this carrier. Um, and we are taking Bronx on a walk outside right now. But so far we haven't made it off the porch because he's just laying down. Um, I did take him outside yesterday and he seemed to really enjoy it. So I'm hoping we can go... Oh, you can't go back there. There he goes. <laughs> and Bronx decided he wanted to sit yeah. under the hammock, I guess. Well, obviously we are back inside. Um, Ronan is asleep right now on my mom's bed. And I'm just hanging out. My camera is about to die, but I wanted to record a quick little clip just to say what we were up to. Um, I did tie Bronx's leash down on the hammock since he was laying there anyways, and we all hung out. I took Ronan out of his carrier, and we just sat on the hammock and swung around, and I sang to him. And then he was talking up a storm. Like, I definitely, I tried to record a clip talking to you guys out there, and it was not working because he was just yelling, like, in a cute way, but it was very loud. Um, so yeah, then I saw a hummingbird. That was pretty cool. I feel like I've seen a lot of random animals today, but I don't see hummingbirds often, and they're so pretty. They're so cool. I feel like if I ever get tattoos, which I really hope to in the future, then a hummingbird will definitely be one of them. And that just cheered me up quite a bit. And then I was nursing Ronan with one arm, so it was kind of hard for me to record, but I did. And after he fell asleep, I took him inside, actually just kind of like unhooked Bronx from his leash for some reason. I had like this weird connection. He like looked at me and I looked at him and I felt like he would not leave, which is a weird thing because he always is trying to escape. But I was like, I feel like if I take him off his leash right now, he's just going to stay. So I did that because I didn't want to like abandon him attached to the hammock. And then I put Ronan on the bed. I went back outside and he was waiting for me on the porch. So I was right and it was just, it was a weird moment, but it was kind of cool. And we've been hanging out ever since. I was just petting him. He's like hanging out over there on the steps, and I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that all this extra attention that I'm giving him makes him not want to pee on my bathroom floor, but we'll see. So I'm going to go charge the camera and probably go lay down because I actually have a minute where I can do that, and usually I end up like on Instagram and just like plugged into technology, and I really feel like I need to just close my eyes and relax a little. What? Banana fanna full fanna. Oh, Ooh, careful what there. do we got here? He wants your mustache. Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to flank your attack and get you right there. And then, oh, you've got the other part. You got your point You got the hair instead of the mustache. <laughs> I, guess you, I guess you outsmarted me. Didn't you? Aha. I knew what you were going to do. Yes, you already figured it out, didn't you? Uh, uh -huh. Ooh. Nana. Ooh. Hi. Look, everybody's talking you to you like all, all at the same time. How's that tooth doing? Can I see your tooth? No, Do because you you're, tongue. you're putting your tongue there instead. Boy. We're upstairs to end the vlog. Baby boy is oh. kind of fussy, which is why I'm ending it. What are you doing? Looking at the light? <laughs> um, but I do want to ask you guys a question of the day. And my question uh. is if you could make up like your own kind of ice cream flavor that's not a usual ice cream flavor, you know, like vanilla or cheesecake or anything like that. Um, what would you make it? I was thinking about this today, and I think that my answer would be baklava. Baklava ice cream? That'd be dope. Like, that'd be so good. Ow. <laughs> um, tell me what you would make in the comments below. But I hope you guys had a good night or day, wherever you're watching this. Oh. He's pooping. <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna go watch Bachelor in Paradise and end our night, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!